Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wasn't planning to make a video today, so it's kind of random. I don't even have lipstick on, which is weird for me. I usually always do, but I just don't feel like it right now. And I've been having a weird day, like to be honest. Um, like I said, I wasn't feeling like filming, but I've honestly been having such a weird bad day that I was just like, maybe filming and talking would help me feel better. I've been awake since 9 a.m. and it's now like 1.30 and I feel like I've just spent the whole day, like four or five hours, just kind of feeling bad about myself and feeling kind of overwhelmed, um, stressed out and just kind of being mean to myself and uh, not productive in any way, shape or form, kind of maybe experiencing burnout. Um, social media is just not fun. Last night I went to bed scrolling on my phone for like an hour, which I try not to do for the most part, but I kind of always end up doing, but I feel like I really scrolled for a long time and that is never fun. And then I woke up and scrolled for like 30 or so minutes. So I just feel like it wasn't a good way to start the day. And especially because I was kind of just like reading like people arguing in like random comment sections, which is just never uh, a fun thing to do. It kind of like leeches onto you. And also I got my period today and um, usually you feel kind of weird like a couple days leading up to your period. So I've been feeling kind of like irritable, kind of bitchy and now it's like extra bad today. I feel like I've been really like snippy and stuff and just irritated at like everything. So yeah, and I've been trying to watch like YouTube videos to like, you know, kind of inspire me in some way. I have this video pulled up, a full guide to reinvent your life in six to 12 months. Um, and I just kind of had that on in the background and I was just kind of trying to do something to make me feel better. I got changed out of my like pajamas and put on like actual clothes, just like leggings and a top. And I was just kind of trying to like get ready and like feel better while watching a YouTube video. And that was kind of working, but not really. And then randomly I have these, this is kind of what I guess the purpose of this video is, I suppose, but I have these random frames. I got them from the thrift store. They came in like a pack of three. They're just like grandma frames. And I was gonna hang them up just as like grandma artwork because I think that it was, I thought that it was cute. But I haven't hung them up and they've just been sitting over here. And I saw them and I was like, you just gotta do something. Like just do anything other than just like lingering because I've been lingering for like five hours and not doing anything. But like I know anything is like a distraction is helpful. And then my cat is laying on it, but basically the other day, because I see these every day, they've been sitting like underneath of my vanity. So I see them all the time and I'm like, you gotta hang those up, you gotta do something. But the other day I was like, wait, should I hang them up as grandma frames or should I, like I said, my cat is on top of them. I have, ow, kitty. I have all of these old World of Warcraft, they're like calendar artworks and they're just all like sticking together. Had them all up in our last place with like sticky tack um, and I was too lazy to take all the sticky tack off so they're kind of like sticky tacked together kind of so I'll have to carefully peel them apart. And then I also have a few pictures left in this um, poster book where you can like rip the posters out but I don't even think I like any that are in here because I already used all of the good ones. But anyways, um, I thought that maybe it would be more cool and more cute to take these out and cut some calendars and put them in there so at least it's like World of Warcraft stuff and I mean worst case if I don't like it I can just put the grandma stuff back into it um but yeah I was just gonna do this anyways as a way to kind of distract myself and so I was just sitting on the floor about to do it and I was like you know what maybe I will film a video so I can just kind of talk and do my thing so super long intro but that's pretty much what we're doing I'm just gonna be going through um, these pictures and trying to pick out uh, which one that I want and I just kind of thought it would be fun to hang out with you guys and you can watch me uh, unstick these things and I'll just talk to you about my week my plans or whatever look I have um, two Gul'dans, but I don't think I'm going to use Gul'dan. I'm going to kind of start by going through them and find out what we have and if there's anything that I like in here. And I'll show you if I find any that I really like. So basically for my week, um, again, I didn't plan on filming this video today. I'm trying to upload one video a week right now, ever since I kind of posted my little channel update video where I'm like, I'm going to take it seriously. Ooh, 
Maybe I'll put that one, but at the same time, I might not want to cut that one, so maybe I won't, but this is a good one, so I'll put it aside. But, um... Yeah, ever since I've been trying to kind of take my channel seriously, I've been trying to upload once a week on Sundays, so I obviously, I think it's like Wednesday, I think it's Wednesday today, I don't even know, but um, my plan is to obviously film sometime this week uh, before Sunday so I still have time to like edit it, and the video that I had planned was to talk about uh, menstrual cups um, because I knew that I would be on my period this week and I was like that would be a perfect time to talk about menstrual cups because I started using menstrual cups uh, instead of tampons um, like over a year ago now I think I bought uh, I think I bought the menstrual cups that I've been using sorry my cats are being loud um, on Amazon back in April so I've been using them for over a year now and I literally love them and back when I got them in April, I made like an Instagram post being like, hey, if anyone has any questions, let me know and I'll make a video. Never ended up making that video. I don't really know why. And it's funny because ever since then, every single month, oh, my God. oh, that's so good. I think I'm just going to hang that one up in general. <laughs> it's like the really good ones. I don't want to cut them, but I might still want to put them up. But yeah, anyways, um, every single month that's gone by and every time my period has hit, I've been like, oh, you've got to make a video about using a menstrual cup, you know? And then I just never do it. I just get lazy and kind of procrastinate it. And I'm like, mm, I don't feel like doing it this week. And I mean, I could film it anytime. I wouldn't have to be on my period to talk about it. But I just feel like during my period, like when I'm kind of you know, like in the process of like using it, it's like maybe I'd be able to explain how to do it better because I can kind of take notes of like, how do I put uh, the menstrual cup in and out? So that's kind of going a little bit deep, but basically um, that was the plan for my video for this week. And to be honest, I still might do it. I might just count this as like a bonus video and just post it today, or maybe I won't even post it. I honestly don't know, but so far, I mean, it's feeling really good to just talk about just literally whatever. Um, I don't even really like the aesthetic of Drenai, but that's pretty cool. Like, he's just a cool guy. So that'll probably be the video for this week. I don't know when I'll film it. I keep feeling really bad because I hate my hair right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my hair is, like, super faded. It's, like, all, like, weird at the top because I bleached my roots like, my roots were grown out to, like, here, like, a few months ago, so I bleached them, but I kind of got, like, the weird, like, band thing, like, where it kind of, like, was more golden, like, it didn't go blonde enough, so it's, like, very weird, like, colors, like, I don't like it, it's just really ugly, there's, like, this kind of golden band, and the green is, like, super faded, and I just don't like how the green looks with faded, it's, like, faded green and faded purple, I feel like it's just not that cute, whereas when the purple was, like, really, you know, kind of, like, vibrant and, like, deep, and the green was really vibrant, it was, like, more, like, neon vibes and really cool, but this, like, I just really hate it and that's part of the reason I think I was feeling so bad today because I just kept looking at my hair and I didn't have makeup on earlier today and I was just feeling so ugly like I felt like I looked like like an ugly 12 year old and my whole morning was just kind of like going like I'd look at myself in my mirror here and just kind of be like god you're ugly and then I would walk to like the other mirror in the bathroom and be like yep you're still ugly and I was just kind of going around the different mirrors being like god you're so ugly um I definitely have body dysmorphia issues they're not always super bad but like something as simple as like if my roots are grown in really long I get really really hard on myself most of my body dysmorphia is like with my face and I feel like when my hair is not perfect which is a big reason why I wear hair extensions because just having long hair I feel like it makes my face look better which makes me feel good um but when my hair isn't exactly how I want it it makes me hate my face and like just everything about myself so a lot of my body dysmorphia stems from my hair I have a lot of weird history with hating my hair um, and then also it's kind of like oddly like crinkly and kind of wavy and just weird it's not looking too cute right now I wear my hair in like a braid to bed so that it doesn't like get damaged as much but I hate how it looks when I take it out of a braid I just don't like the look of all of these like creases and stuff. I like my hair to be straight and long. So basically I was just being really hard on myself today. The Lich King. 
Um, so there's kind of like a whole dilemma because I want to film my menstrual cup video and actually make it like a really good video where I make it as informative as possible. Like I'm hoping somehow it'll be like the best menstrual cup video on YouTube. I mean, it probably won't be because I kind of suck at making videos, but in terms of the information I want to share, like I hope it's truly like if someone watches my menstrual cup video who wanted to know stuff about it, like I hope I give them the best information. The issue is, is that right now I hate my hair. So it's kind of like, I don't want to make that video because I feel like that's kind of going to be like a good video and I don't want to look ugly or in my opinion, ugly for that video because what if it goes well? Because I feel like talking about like menstrual cup stuff like that has like semi potential to go like not viral but you know it could maybe get like 50k 100k views maybe if it doesn't that's okay but it's just the idea it's like I don't want to have this hair for that video so I've kind of been like subconsciously putting off filming that video this week but feeling like oh, I don't want to dye my hair like I want to dye my hair but it's just such a thing to dye your hair it's like I don't know like I'm probably gonna have to bleach the green basically what I want to do I love the green but I think I'm just kind of sick of it and I want to try something else so another color combo that I really like is red and purple and that gives me like vampire vibes so I want to dye these like green streaks red and then refresh the purple so it's like really like poppin purple and then these bright like red streaks in the front so I kind of want to have like a vampire sort of vibe but I'm nervous to dye my hair and it takes like hours to dye your hair. Like think about it, I'm gonna have to like bleach the green, dye the purple, rinse out the bleach, put the red in, let it sit, rinse it out, dry my hair. It's just like a whole like task. So I've kind of been like, I don't wanna do it, but I can't really do my YouTube video for this week till I do it, so I gotta do it. So I think I've been kind of stressing myself out and being hard on myself about doing that. So that's what's stressing me out right now. I know that those are like first world problems, but I'm just being real. And then I think also on top of that, I want to film me dyeing my hair. Both I want to film like a YouTube video and also a reel, which is always a task because obviously filming a YouTube video and I use my phone, my phone is like, you know, like long ways to film like a YouTube video, but then to do the reel, I have to like switch it. And it's like, I can't really do both at the same time, but it's like, I want to get a reel of me applying the red onto my hair, but also a YouTube video of me applying the red onto my hair. And I don't really like just cropping the YouTube video because then it like zooms it in. It's just, uh, it's just a whole thing, the dyeing the hair. Anyways, um, how is your guys' week going? What are like random small things that are stressing you out right now. I feel like it's good to talk about cause, like you know when you're stressed about little things and people are like do you want to talk about it and it's like not really because they're really stupid problems. Uh, yeah I'm stressed about dyeing my hair and making a YouTube video but you know what that's real sometimes. Sometimes that is what's going on. I mean there is also other stuff like we're also kind of stressed about money right now. Rent just came out so we're feeling kind of like broke and stressed out so there's other bigger real things but I'm really just curious like what are like let's talk about it like comment down below what little things are stressing you out what big things are stressing you out what are the things that are like on your mind recently or if you don't want to share it uh, in the comments you can always join my discord I have a mental health channel which is like the perfect spot to talk about that kind of stuff no judgment literally anything that you want or even DM me on Instagram sometimes I'm not the best person at like responding back right away I'm sometimes slow or sometimes I'm fast it just depends on like what I'm doing at that time okay we're almost getting there I have a bunch of like <laughs> a lot of them are like orcs that I don't really like that much. Like they're just personally not my aesthetic. So that's why I have this big pile of just like extra. It's like I don't want to throw them out because I love World of Warcraft art and I couldn't imagine throwing those out in the recycling. But um, yeah, it's just funny because I know that I'll never put them up. This one's pretty good. Look at this Deathwing one. Like that could look cute in the frame. You know, like I wouldn't mind cutting that one up maybe. But we'll see. I don't even know if I'm going to. This one is already uh, ripped at some point, so maybe if that's big enough, I mean, I could always do that one. That looks like it would fit, like, you know, like with where it cut off. 
Maybe I'll do this one as the initial test one to see what it looks like. I'm finally through all of them, so I have my little pile of ones that I don't want to use, and I've kind of straightened them out a bit because they were very messy. And then these are all of the ones. Let me show you the ones that I liked. Um, I don't know if I'll use them in the frames or if I'll just hang them up somewhere else for fun or maybe I'll just put them away again, but these are the ones that I liked. So we have Queen Ashara and the little fishy Nazoth right here from the Warbringers cinematic. And then we have uh, Deathwing over the Maelstrom. Very cool, very colorful, love it. And we have the Lich King, we have Kilthos, that one's really, really good too. Um, ooh, Illidan, so good. Illidan's my favorite guy character in WoW. Um, another Arthas, the Lich King, and then we have another Queen Ashara in her Naga form. And then this one's not even a calendar one. It's just like a night elf. Um, I wonder if that fit or is that too... That might fit. I was kind of thinking maybe it's too small, but it looks like that might fit. So I mean, maybe I could put that one in there because I would just be cutting off the bottom and it just says like Warcraft 3 Collector's Edition. So I mean, that could be cute in there. Um, and then we have, this one is not really, this is like the cover of the calendar. So it has like the logo on it and like some text down there. But um I don't know, maybe we could use that. And then finally we have Sylvanas and Anduin. So we'll see. I don't think I want to cut this one because it's Sylvanas. I don't want to ruin it. But those were all the ones that I like in terms of the aesthetics and the characters that I like. Um, and I think we will go ahead and cut out the Ashara one, that first one, this one since it's already ruined anyway, so it's a good tester one. So this is hilarious. I literally never even checked because I just didn't think about it. I just kind of figured, you know how most photo frames have the little like tabby things to uh, like open up the back of the frame? These ones do not. It's literally just stapled shut. But um, because I don't really care about the back that much personally, I am literally just going to cut it Kind of like um, I'm just gonna kind of see if there's a way that I can get into this. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Like, let's just see. Let's just rip this open. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if this will work, but we're gonna find out. Maybe I'm ruining it. I don't know. I think I just feel bad because I like these photos. Like, I just think that the old lady aesthetic is really cute so I think that I feel guilty doing this um maybe there's like some little stuff in here maybe we'll be able to get in here I don't know if these tabs open though definitely very strong I think I'm gonna need to get some pliers for this test so I went and got some little pliers um at one point I was gonna learn how to make jewelry so I have like a bunch of random pliers like round nose pliers and all kinds of random stuff. So it took me a little while to find just some normal ones, but I think that it's working. I think it's letting me bend these up. I don't know if I'm breaking it, but we're going to find out. I feel like this task became more difficult than I had anticipated it to be. Have you guys ever randomly done stuff like this? Like, it's kind of like my husband always says, and even my mom used to always say, that I have a very, like, right now personality. Also, what's even happening here? What even is this? My hair is being weird as hell. Um, they say that I have a right now personality where it's, like, just randomly, like, I, I'll get an idea, um, I'll get an idea to do something, and I'm like, I gotta do this, like, right now. So, here I am. <laughs> here I am now using pliers to, uh, get this photo frame open so I can put these stupid wow pictures in it. I remember a few weeks ago, it was like 1130 at night, so almost midnight, and I was organizing my closet and I had like this tote with a bunch of like tapestries and like tablecloths, like Halloween tablecloths and stuff, and I found um, some black curtains that I bought from Walmart or the thrift store a long time ago and um, I also had a curtain rod for them too, and we were gonna put them up in our last place that we lived at um, with Derek's mom, 
but then we just never got around to it so um, they were just kind of packed away and I've wanted to put curtains up in this room and so I found them at like 11:30 at night and then I called Derek in here and I was like will you help me put these up at like midnight and he was so sweet and he was like yes I will help you do it so he got out the power tools and we hung them up at midnight because I just, I can't wait. Like, I can't be like, oh, I'm going to do this tomorrow. It's like, no. Like, dude, if it was 3 a.m., I'd be like, we got to do this right now. Almost there. I feel like if I do a couple more, we'll be able to get it out. I'm also, like, low-key worried about breaking the glass from how much, like, pressure I'm putting on these little peg things. So, you guys, that was very hard. I had to get my husband to help me. Um, it was super hard to get all these little peggy things up. And then he had to kind of get this out. He had to, like, get a knife to, like, kind of go underneath of this to lift it out. It's like a piece of cardboard, kind of. Which is good, because at first I thought that it was, like, glued onto the glass or something. Because I was trying to, like, kind of lift it up to hopefully kind of, like, peel it out of there because I figured that it was just like a flimsy kind of just like photo paper but this is like cardboard but anyways we got it out which is nice because now I have something I can use as like a guideline for how big I should cut it and here it is with um it's definitely butchered on the back but the thing that sucks is I don't think I want to do that again like that was a lot of work that probably took like 20 minutes which isn't horrible, but it wasn't very fun to do. So we'll see. And my cat is back. Hi, Mia. Oh, just laying on top of the stuff that I need. Okay, so let's, now we can use this as our little guide to see how big we should cut our Queen Ashara. So I think I'm gonna use it on the back. I can use, I'm using my ring light and when I hold it up, I can see the shadow of it so I can kind of see where I might want to cut it. I kind of want to get a little bit of the fish in there too. So about there maybe? Maybe a little bit more. Let's like get him in there. Ish. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't think that you can but um, it is uh, approximately right there is where the folds are going to be. So I think I'm going to go get a pencil Mark this out and then we will cut it. So we got our little cutout. There was a little tiny piece um, down here where there's a tear, but I don't really care. I feel like that's cute. There's a little fish, a little Queen Ashara, and that's pretty good. Like I feel like I got it you know, pretty good for the size. So let's, uh, let's see how this looks. I might have to kind of shove it in there a little bit. It might be slightly big just because, um, I mean, that probably works. It's kind of like raised, like it's a little bit too big. I might cut off just a little tiny bit more, just like the tiniest little bit off this side. Okay, hopefully now, yeah, that's a little better. It fits a little bit better in there. Okay, there it is. I know it's a little hard to see because of my uh, ring light trying to reflect back. Um, the dust is definitely very dusty on the frame, so I'll have to wipe it down, but I did it. The back is not aesthetic at all in any way, but I think that it's good. I think it's cute. Um, I guess maybe I'll try to put these little pegs down so that it's like secure again. Oh, one of them just literally fell out. That is a kitty hazard, so I'll just throw that out right away. I don't want the kitties to get that. I think um, ultimately it's very cute. I would maybe do this again for the rest of them, but I don't feel like doing it today. I feel like I've wasted uh, enough random time today, um, but I really enjoyed my time with you guys. Sorry it was like completely random. Like, is this even interesting? I have no idea, but this is what I was doing anyway, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. Let me know what you think. I don't know how I feel about it in this frame. Maybe if I spray painted it, like could you imagine if it was black? That would be really, really cool. But for now, I think these frames definitely suit the grandma aesthetic a lot better. So 
yeah, I'm not sure. Was this a waste of time? I have no idea. But I'm really happy that I got to chit chat with you guys. I hope you're all having a lovely week. Uh, remember to comment down below, join my Discord, or DM me, and let's talk about random stuff that is stressing us out re recently. Anything to do with like your mental health and all that stuff. And I hope that we can all get on a better track soon to feeling better. And I'm gonna go now. I'm really hungry. It's like 2.15 right now and I haven't eaten anything today. I've just had coffee. So I think it's time for some food. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.